Welcome back to Jamaica News Online with Esmer Austin. Here's what we have in the news. Jamaica reviewing treatment of information on sex offenders. American Airlines fried from Miami veered off the runway at Norman Mandley International Airport. Mark Golding threatens to file defamation suit against Heroy Clark, cop and pastor charge in porn case. And a fisherman dies after deep sea fishing trip. Details coming right up. The Westmoreland police are probing the death of 26-year-old fisherman Crofton Ewers on Wednesday in Pedro Cays, St. Elizabeth. The Marine police say about 4 p.m. Ewers and a group of men went deep sea fishing after which he had difficulty breathing. It is reported that he was receiving medical assistance on the quay and was subsequently taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. A post-mortem is to be conducted. A police officer is currently before the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court following allegations that he is part of a conspiracy to obtain money from a dancehall producer in order not to leak pornography online. The allegations were shared on Thursday when the cop, Dave Macklish, who is also a pastor, appeared before the senior parish judge, Sanchia Burrell, with his co-accused, J. Ann Booth, Macleish and Booth, an architectural student at the University of Technology, Jamaica, are charged on an indictment for conspiracy to defraud, extortion, unlawful use of an electronic device available for the commission of an offense and use of computer for malicious communication. It is alleged that on January 14, the complainant received WhatsApp messages demanding U.S. dollars 8,000 in order not to have explicit videos and photos of himself and his girlfriend shared online. On February 1, the complainant was contacted again and informed that the videos were shared on social media. The court heard that sometime during February, the complainant transferred $50,000 to an account associated with McLeish, which was then sent via Link's platform to Booth's account. An additional $20,000 was sent sometime thereafter to McLeish, but an attempt to transfer the funds to Booth was blocked by the bank. Neither McLeish nor Booth entered a plea when they attended court on Thursday. The matter was adjourned until July 2nd for mention. Opposition leader Mark Golding has threatened to file a, a defamation suit against Henry Clark, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, following comments he reportedly made about Golding's relationship with his wife, Sandra. The comments are said to have been made in a WhatsApp group which had approximately 300 members. In a letter addressed to Clark dated June 7, 2024, Golding's attorneys from the law firm Hart, Muirhead, Fata made several demands they want met by Monday. Clark has been told to confirm in writing that he undertakes not to publish or cause to be published any defamatory statement expressed or implied in any way concerning Golden. He has also been told to agree to provide a full and unreserved written apology to Golden in a newspaper of island-wide circulation in Jamaica in form and substance and with prominence acceptable to the People's National Party President. Clark, the Member of Parliament for St. James Central, must also agree to enter into discussions with Golding's attorneys as to the terms of a settlement of the claim against him for damages for defamation. According to Golding's attorneys, the comments were reportedly made by Clark on June 6. The lawyer said the comments compromise utterly false statements as to the age of Golding's wife and the origin of their relationship. It said the comments have also caused reputational damage to Golden. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. 
foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica, guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you. National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang has directed the legal team within the ministry to conduct a review of existing legislation to determine the extent to which it allows for a wider sharing of information concerning convicted sex offenders. The law currently allows for select institutions to be advised of details concerning convicted offenders upon request of the institution. These institutions include schools, a statement from the ministry said Friday. During the first term of the current Andrew Holness-led administration, a committee of parliament had reviewed the matter of the sex offenders registry and a framework was established, the release said. Discussions surrounding the sharing of the information related to convicted sex offenders have resurfaced after the police disclosed that the main suspect in the disappearance of the primary school teacher, Daniel Anglin, is a convicted sex offender. An American Airlines flight from Miami veered off the runway at Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston on Thursday night during heavy rain. There were no reports of interest to passengers or crews on flight AA850. However, there was some damage to the aircraft and lights on the runway. At 9.30 last night, the aircraft landed in inclement weather. The investigation so far is that the aircraft veered off the side of the runway. There was damage to two runway edge lights and the aircraft picked up some debris. From what is known so far, it taxied to the ramp and the passengers disembarked normally. Lieutenant Colonel Oscar Derby, chairman of the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority, said an investigation into the runway excursion is ongoing and the full extent of damage to the aircraft is being assessed. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.